Hello guys, gals, and on Bittery Pals, welcome back to my channel, and today I wanted to go over how to make a heck ton of gill with just crafting scripts. Let's look over what are the best forms of profit, either from crafting or desynthesis, lists that will fit any server or market board, and how to unlock everything. And of course, any and all lists will be mentioned down below, and YouTube members, Twitch subs, and Discord boosters do get access to these lists earlier. So with that being said, let's get into it. Before we start any and all sections are of course timestamp below, we will go over purple scripts, how to farm, how to spend, white scripts, how to farm, how to spend, and future proofing ways to make money with scripts and desynthesis, and a section on other notables, where to unlock, and so forth. So let's start off with purple scripts and how to farm them. Of course, ideally you are already a max level crafter. Of course, Omni crafters are going to have the best time, but if you are looking at this video for the future use, then I would go ahead, take a look at this list, and see what classes tend to be the best for script gill making. For script gill making, from what I've seen so far, culinarian, alchemist, and sometimes goldsmith tend to be the best. But of course, we have a list to go ahead and see which are indeed the best. So here is the purple collectible crafting list. You can go back to the next page and see where everything is located for the specific craft that you need. But overall, this list is important for quite a few reasons. Now to start off with a lot of the pre-crafts, it is actually cheaper to go ahead, skip crafting these, and just go to the market board to buy them itself. For example, a Anite whetstone costs 1,300 to craft with the Anite, of course, but you can go all the way over to Moogle and get it for 140 gil a piece. This is especially crucial since you would rather spend less time crafting it and having a larger profit at the very end. Another thing to keep in mind as this is a great way to constantly know how much stuff is actually going for. Let's say you really need competence materia tents, but you want to go ahead and craft with your goldsmith. If you go ahead and craft with your goldsmith, you're actually losing money. It costs 3.6k to craft one, you need 4 for 1 materia 10, and you're overall losing out on 6k gil. Reasons why stuff could fluctuate is it's in the middle of the expansion, nothing has been released, you can go up when new crafting gear is released, whether that would be tools, accessories, etc., or a crafting beast tribe, stuff like that. Anything with crafting, you can watch for material to go up in price because people are thinking, I want to get into crafting, all this new stuff just released, so I'm going to go ahead and start melding. That's a great way to go maintain a large amount of profit. For mutable solutions, it can of course go up and down on a weekly basis. Last week on Louisois, Immutable solutions were around 5k, but now they're back up to around 7.8 to 8k per inch. If you have a retainer that is able to go ahead and gather these items for you, especially important for you to utilize these, usually I go ahead and send my retainer always out for palm syrup. That way, if I want to go ahead and craft palm syrup on its own, it will be 2.1k, but if I go ahead and slash out the palm sugar, I would instead be only paying half, so I would be making double the profit. So now of course, how do we decide what to exactly spend? Again, if you want to buy material, you do need a for base crafts. If you only want to buy one immutable solution, you only need two of these crafts. Let's say I want to craft with my Cyclone Bevroyce, but I only want Competence Materia Tents. I can easily see that I will be spending indeed 4.5k, but I will be making a profit of 3.4k per four crafts. And again, if you only want an immutable solution, you just select the immutable solution, what you're going to craft, and take this 4 down to a 2. Another thing to keep in mind with immutable solutions is that the usage is going to change along with the flow of the expansion, meaning we can go ahead and take a look at Shadowbringer's crafted gear. As you can see, this facet hat of crafting uses a sublime solution, which is of course comparable to our immutable solution. As time went on, we started getting something called slither sand, and what slither sand used was white crafter scripts. Now back then it was yellow crafter scripts, but yellow crafter scripts back then is our white crafter scripts, 
right now, but that doesn't mean that Sublime Solution wasn't used. The dissolvent was necessary in these crafts, and as you can see, the Sublime Solution was used. So of course, make sure that if you have a good set of prices on Suffer Purple Script Farming, go ahead and try and stock up because, because the price will go ahead and fluctuate whenever we get those green crafter pieces. And of course, also the same with white scripts. If you see a good amount of materials needed that is especially cheap, go ahead and stock up because the next crafter necessary material will be, of course, from white scripts. Now let's go ahead and move on to white scripts. And let's start with farming. And here, of course, is the white crafter script farming list. All of this will be down in the description below or in the pinned comment. But again, you can easily see where to get all the materials necessary for what you want to craft. So of course, we will go to pricing mode. And since there are a lot of items on this list, it is going to take a while. But if it takes an extreme amount of time, I do recommend restarting the application because I tend to notice the more you use to craft, the slower it gets. So just something that is pretty good to know. And once you finish that scan, you can go ahead and see what is the best to craft and what is the best to buy. Now again, the thing that we need to constantly keep in mind is if the crafted pre-craft is cheaper than us crafting it ourselves. And for a lot of these, that is indeed the case. And make sure if there is a vendor item necessary that you are indeed buying it from the vendor. But sometimes a lot of these items are actually cheaper on the market board than from the vendor. And it will let you know that via this blue box. Something like Twin Thread is 326, but you can get it from Cerberus for 116. Star Ruby is 508, but Louis Lot is only 30 gel. There are way more white script craftables. I only added a few for the purpose for people who are not yet max level and sometimes it can be cheaper to craft a lower level craftable than a higher level craftable but do keep in mind that at the highest level white script craftable you are only crafting 13 but for the lowest level white script craftable on this list we're crafting 29 but also keep in mind that with lower level craftables if you are at least 10 levels higher than the craftable level you can also one hit click max quality so it is quicker to craft some but always make sure so let's compare the happiness juice and the giant haddock dip for the happiness juice to get 2000 white scripts you need 16 crafts and that will total you 18,896. For the giant haddock dip, you only need to craft two times less, 14 for 2,000 scripts. You can go and see how much it will cost us, and it will cost us 29k instead. So make sure that even if it is lower level, even though you're only crafting two times more, sometimes a lower level white script is actually worth it gill wise. Again, just like the last list, you can easily see what is indeed the best on your server currently. On number of materials, even though they were lower level than the current materials that we have are used for over melding all the time, so sometimes they're actually quite viable to go ahead and get. We can easily see that reflected with the cutting material 7s. It is 6,294 and you can get 10 at a time. We can quickly see that we're spending 27,000 in the rarefied mats and we are actually earning 35,000 in profit per 2,000 white scripts. This is really good and a great easy way to see, hey, I want to branch out materia, but I don't just want materia. What about some demi materia? The Mastercraft demi materia is pretty good. If we go ahead and get that, we're making a profit of 46,000. If we go ahead with the Fieldcraft demi materia 3, we are making a profit of 39,000. So again, it is a good way to see what you're actually gonna go in and make the most out of with the scripts that you are gonna get. Even stuff like Command Materia 4s, it is 3,149. We can go and make sure that this price is actually correct. Even though it is a little bit more expensive on my server, it does tend to be indeed around the 1,000 gil mark, and people do go ahead and go and buy this materia quite often. And the best thing is, we can buy any of these 
per 2,000 scripts. So with the spending of 27,000, you can make a profit of 224 gil. But of course, with stuff like this, make sure it is indeed selling just as good on your server before you go ahead and buy 80 of them. Now, I'm going to go ahead and farm some white scripts so we can go over onto the synthesize. And now I'm back and I have a ton of white scripts. We can go ahead and test some of these synthesis. Now, of course, do go ahead and see if these prices match our market board. I'm going to start off with the Adept's Hose because as you can see, when you desynthesize them, you have a chance to get Fieldcraft Divi Materia 2s, a Rainbow Cloth, clear demi materia threes which is venerable for 5k each and a holy rainbow cloth now i have 20 of these adept hoes now we can go ahead and start to synthesize them and see what we can get so here is everything that i got from the synthesizing 20 adept hoes now we can go and see just how much we actually made so I got 11 of these Fieldcraft Demi Materia 2s, which is currently going for 10k on my server. It usually fluctuates, but this is something that is bought and bought quite often and bought by a lot at a time. Sometimes if no one is posting this, which a lot of people need this item, but not very many people go ahead with the synthesis, you can get someone who will buy 10 of them for 28k. So this is already looking pretty good as it. I got eight rainbow threads, which aren't much as they are, but pretty good. And six holy rainbow cloths which are indeed quite expensive and bought quite often. So overall, just with these pants that are, once again, only 52 white scripts, per 2,000 white scripts, you can go ahead and get 38 of these to the synthesize. Now let's go ahead and try with the Adept's thigh boots. They might not be as good as the pants, but you only get one to two demi materials from the pants, but you get one to three demi materials with the boots and the Erconis leather and the wyvern leather are actually quite expensive as well you can go ahead and see how much they are on my server currently here is the wyvern leather and here is the Archaeonis leather so i'm gonna go ahead and try to the synthesize 20 once again so i just finished the synthesizing 20 boots and unluckily i didn't get very many demi materials but of course that is the nature of the synthesis but on the bright side, I just sold three Fieldcraft Demi Materia 2s as we were just desynthesizing. And yes, that was me going buying out the last one at 10k and then posting it for an awful 23k per each. So now it is at a pretty good spot and uh, luckily, hopefully, somebody will come along and keep buying more of them. Because now there are, again, a lot of demand but not very much supply. So this is a great way to make a ton of gil, and let's go ahead and see what exactly I got from the 20 boots. Again, I only got three demi materials, but of course you do get one to three every time you do get a demi materia. So I got demi materia once and I got three. I got seven wyvern leathers and I got 12 archaeonis leathers. So overall pretty good. Yes, it could have been better, but this is pretty good for only 52 white scripts per one. Now next up are other notables and I wanted to have a separate section just for stuff that didn't quite fit with the others but are still really important to know. Now this video is about making guild with only crafter scripts. That doesn't mean that you can take what you get from crafter scripts and turn it into something even better. So starting off with something that is called Dryad Sap and you can go ahead and craft Astral Birch Lumber. Now Dryad Sap is only a part of this craft, you do need Astral Oil, but with one craft you do get three separate pieces of lumber and I'll show you just how much this goes for. At the moment it is indeed at an absurd price, but it does go for 5k to 4k at a time, sometimes even 10k. The best part about this is that there is indeed a demand, especially with housing coming around. Now people just got a new set of houses with the recent update for fixing the housing system, but overall this birch will be absolutely necessary for a lot of popular housing items. Even at an absurd price, people are still buying it, but overall take a look and make sure it's at least at the 5,000 to 4,000 range. Of course, use your immutable solutions, but if you're not so much of, a, of an endgame gear crafter, you can go ahead and make 
high quality intermediate items of the Ebon Danabrite and the Hanish Fiber. The Danabrite sells for around 10 to 13k which is really good considering especially if you're going ahead and crafting white scripts yourself for the immutable solution. And it's the same story with the Hanish Fiber. Now I personally would craft both high quality and normal quality just so you can get both sides of the market. Next is the Mastercraft Demi Materia or the Artisan's Set. This does tend to sell a bit slowly but it is quite a bit for what it is and when there is a larger patch bringing new people or people wanting to level their crafters this will go a lot quicker. But of course you can sell it for around 180k 120k to up to 200k at a time. So what if you want to spend scripts on what you yourself can use? The revised engineering manual is great to stock up on right before a new expansion. This way you can max out your crafters very very quickly since it gives you an extreme XP boost to your crafters and your crafters only. So I usually get around 10 of them and start leveling in the new area with the new leaves and I get it done all crafters within a single day. And of course, make sure that you have all your master books unlocked. Especially when you think you're going to be wanting to go into Omni crafting, you're going to need a lot of scripts for this. And of course, it is very well worth it to have your full arsenal unlocked. And next, of course, is gear when you're leveling, but more specifically if you're max level, glamour. So a lot of the crafter sets are really, really great looking. My favorites tend to be the Weaver, the Alchemist, and the Goldsmith. A lot of these tops are really fancy and look very nice on all characters. So of course, go take a look all across the expansions to see if there are any crafter sets you yourself enjoy. If you go ahead and unlock crafting scripts, you do need to be at least level 50 and you do need to have the main story quest done the better half. Now you can of course go to the foundation and talk to Morgane and from there you can do the quest go west craftsman from Lerdalona in Mordona. From there you can unlock your crafting and gathering script and also your crafting and gathering collectibles. You will unlock craftables. To unlock collectibles in Stormblood you need to have the go west craftsman unlocked. And from there, at level 60, you can talk to Galliana in Ralgar's Reach. To unlock collectibles in Shadowbringers, you need to be at least level 70, have the main story quest, City of Final Pleasures, and of course, your Go West Craftsman quest done. From there, you can talk to Moen in Old Moor. And finally, to unlock your collectibles in Endwalker, you need to finish the quest expanding House of Splendors from Off Piliona and Rods at Hunt. But this has no main story quest requirement, so once you get to Rods at Hunt, you can go ahead and unlock it immediately. You can also, of course, go ahead and craft and gather for plenty of scripts via custom deliveries. Now, myself, I don't do these very often, but they do net you a ton of scripts weekly, and even with the Shadowbringers custom deliveries, you can even get an amount. Now with 6.15 just around the corner, this will unlock the brand new Endwalker collectible system, so be on the lookout for that. It is a great way to make a ton of scripts as well. And they are for both white scripts and purple scripts. So guys, thank you so much for watching my crafter script guide. Hopefully the farming suggestions and spending suggestions could help you out a bit. And hopefully the decent thing can also be something that is viable for you. Thank you to everyone that supports me on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. And speaking of Discord, I have just updated my Discord. It is chock full of a resources that I myself have created full of a list of all sorts of things, expansion, level, job, etc. And any and all videos that are upcoming will be having a special section just for YouTube members, Discord boosters, Twitch subscribers, and the people who are generally trusted by my Discord you guys can access to this channel. But of course, all the resources that are in that channel will go live to the normal channels and down in the description below just when the video releases. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.